Welcome to this video. We are going to show you how to create an ISO Arch Linux B. So build it yourself. And the desktop is going to be BSPWM. Everything is ready except the video. I'm going to make it right now. So this is what you end up with. Uh, a nice window tiling manager, which actually is very very fast and very nice. I can recommend it to you. And we have here everything we need to know. We have here a GitHub, Control C. By the way, if you want to know more about build your own ISO, the vision is the one you should take a look at. So we're gonna do this. So go to the desktop, open a terminal there. You're gonna git clone. Well, it's already in the text, so Control Shift V is good. Git clone this script that is going to make sure that you end up with an ISO installation script. Right mouse click, and then number thirty. That's it. It was that technical. You type in your password. And it's gonna delete my build folder, the previous build that I created. And then he's going to fix everything. So clean the cache. Three yeses. Yes. Yes. And that's the last thing. And that's it. That's it. There's no more to tell you. We'll have a BSPWM in about 50 minutes. So I guess I'll just pause the video here and wait for the ISO to pop out. All right, right back. And there we are. We have a ISO of two gigabytes big because it's based on Arch Linux, not Arch Linux D. So that means you go to the Arch ISO, packages both, take a look at it and say, control find, Chromium is something I never use. So you put the hashtag in front and then it's easy, it's better to do an hashtag. Why do I say this? Because we, at some point in time you want to compare your files with my files in a month's time, two months time. And then it's easier to see, oh yes, it's just an hashtag difference between the two lines. And then you can just skip it, right? But otherwise you'll see lines coming in. And um, well, Follow some videos about Melt, and that's the application to compare files. That's a very interesting tool. And uh, then it's easy to compare. So you just put hashtags to in front of stuff you don't want. Some of them, well, we don't need, but some of them you do not want ever. And then you can spare some gigabytes, but not much really. Just if you're going for the big uh, applications like GIMP or Inkscape or stuff like that. All right, so basically, um, finally, what's happening, um, what I'll do is also number 50. So I'm going to move my ISO build, which is actually actually in here, Arch ISO, out. This is the thing you have to test in your virtual box. And then you try it out and say, OK, nice. But I don't want this, I don't want that. And then you decide more about the packages. Go in, inside this, this file and decide, OK, I don't want this, don't want that. And you try things out then you have an iso you like you build it on you burn it on usb and you build up your system and you have a specific personal arc linux b bsp wm enjoy <laughs> 